Evaluation of Information System Development. Delone and McLean in 1992 attempted an evaluation of information system successfulness and proposed 180 traits of information system, which they classified in six main categories. System quality included measurements of information system itself. Next category was information quality, which included the measurement of information system output. Information manipulation category, on the other hand, included recipients handling of information system output. User satisfaction included recipients' response to handling the information system output. Another category included individual influence, which checked the effects of information system on recipient's behavior. And last but not the least, organizational influence checked the effects of information on organizational performances. Information system development should be evaluated time to time, and following are the approaches given by Hamilton. Number one, quality assurance review. It focuses on assessing the information system's technical quality, for example, comparison to standards. Technical evaluation includes variables like data transmission rate, storage, CPU capacity, etc. Technical reviews, on the other hand, are performed by operations personnel. Compliance audits are also important, which review the adequacy and completeness of controls for the system input, output, processing, security, and access. These audits are typically performed by an autonomous internal audit junction. Budget performance review, on the other hand, concentrates on compliance with a predetermined budget expenditure level. MIS personnel productivity measurement. It is calculated in terms of capability of management information system personnel's productivity, such as line of code per unit time for programmers and keystrokes per unit time for data entry personnel. Computer performance evaluation is also checked. Capabilities of computer hardware can be evaluated in terms of performance efficiencies and bottlenecks. For example, actual throughput in a given period of time and utilization of input and output channels. Service level monitoring. It focuses on assessing the information and support provided to the user based on the terms established between management information system and user personnel. Assessment of the information provided include turnaround time, response time, and error rates. User attitude survey is a method used in operational evaluation. This is conducted through questionnaires or interviews. Post-installation review, on the other hand, focuses on estimating whether the system meets the requirement definition, that is, does the system do what it is designed to do? Cost-benefit analysis is also known as economic analysis. It is used to check return on the investment. So once we know that on what parameters and on what approaches the information system evaluation happens, let us move on to understanding how types of evaluations work and what kind. Types of evaluation. Information system may be evaluated from technical and operational point of view also. As we learned about evaluation criteria, let us know about technical evaluation. It basically means to determine whether the application is technically feasible or not, 
or do we need to change the technology in the near future? Or how long we don't need to invest technically again? Operational evaluation, on the other hand, means the evaluation of applications with respect to input, error rates, timeliness of output, and utilization of available resources. Economic evaluation is the comparison of actual costs with actual benefits that means whether it is going to be finally useful or not. Thus, it is important to know not only the challenges, not only the methods, but also the evaluation techniques in order to make information system operational and effective. Thank you.